Uh, by the way, what's with that line? What do you do, tie it to your front porch to make sure you can find your way home? <laughs> no! It's for our youngest child. We believe in giving the boy a little freedom. That way, if he feels all cooped up in the Winnebago, he can gallop alongside of us down the highway. <laughs> Fox, meet little Seven. Seven? Well, why'd you pick that name? Because we had one, two, three, four, five, seven kids. <laughs> Say hi to your cousin. Oh, hello. Is that the one who's gonna give me money? Yeah, that's the rich one. Mm. Go bond with him. <laughs> I love you, you big lug. Give me money. Do you know where your knee is? Yes, I do, so give me money. <laughs> uh, kids, why don't you take little Seven upstairs? Come here, Seven. Oh, we'll take him up to Bud's room. Have you ever seen a rubber woman? <laughs> Isis is not rubber. She's breathable latex. <laughs> and she breaks just like a little girl. Come on, Ian. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> We're swingers. We're into swapping. <laughs> but don't be put off. It doesn't have to be the traditional man-woman thing. <laughs> And this little Peggy never goes to market. And this little Peggy stays home. And this little Peggy eats bonbons. Mm. And these little children have none. <laughs> I want them to do the song again. He only wants us to do it because he knows we hate it. Is that true, Seven? Yes. And a one, and a two. Baby face, you've got the cutest little baby face. There's not another one could take your place. Baby face. Hi, kids. Good to be home. Where did you disappear to? Well, I crawled into the doggy door when Zemus turned out the lights and said, let's exchange trousers. <laughs> Hmm? Oh. Honk, 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 honk. Seven, if you were thinking of pulling his hair, try grabbing it out of his ears. <laughs> Unlike his head, it just seems to grow and grow and grow. Ah, <laughs> oh, Peg, why is this kid sitting on my lap? Doesn't his father have a groin? <laughs> By the way, uh... Where are the kettles? <laughs> well, right after you left, they went out for cigarettes. And you let them go. That has to be the dumbest move in history. Well, the second dumbest. The first dumbest had to be when I answered your phone call the day after we had sex. <laughs> Peg, you just let these people stick us with their kid. <laughs> Oh, my God! I've got another child! <laughs> now, Peg, I'm gonna remove my hands. Please don't show them how upset you are. <laughs> What's the matter? Did he find out my folks are gone? Uh, no. No. Just went out for cigarettes. Be right back. No, they won't. But that's okay. I'll just love mommy and you. Daddy. 